Welcome to SEMA 2017. We're at the Harrop booth. We've had a really successful couple of days. We're with Simon from NISPRO Marine. We've got the fantastic V6 supercharger system here. Let's learn a little bit more about it. So this is the new Yamaha 450S NISPRO Marine supercharger system, designed in Melbourne, Australia by Harrop. Uh, features a fully comprehensive kit, intercoolers per banker cylinders, fuel injectors, uh, fuel pump, ECU upgrade. So what configurations does Yamaha offer from the factory? Okay, so this is a, a basically a 4.2 four-stroke engine. Um, Yamaha configured in either 200, 225 or 250 in the show high output models. It comes in a 225, 250 and 300 in the offshore series. The kit fits all of those models, so over six different units. Um, the supercharger system is a bolt-on, takes approximately five hours long. It's been a really great project, everyone's been super interested in it. Yeah, fantastic. And obviously one of the, the big questions, people see, them, see the unit here and there's no cowl, but we've managed to actually package the whole supercharger system under the factory cowl and, and with NISPRO design, just a, a small cowl space that features the supercharged 450S decal. So that's a huge feature for boat owners that don't want to go and get some complete new cowl arrangement to have a supercharged outboard. Yeah, look, that's correct. The, the, the packaging was probably the most challenging part of the whole process. Outboard marine companies don't leave you a lot of room to go sticking you know, an extra 150 horsepower worth of supercharger kit under the hood. Most customers don't want to cut up their brand new cowl on their engine. So yeah, look, we managed to package it, lift it up 108 millimetres, provide a cowl spacer, basically a cowl spacer drops on and then the factory hood goes straight over the top. Just for the guys that like going fast, what's some of the comparative speed differentials that you see from the standard 250 show motor and then after the supercharged 450S on, on some of the boats that we're running around in, in Victoria? Okay, so look, if I guess if you're talking the American market with bass boats, you'll see about a 22 to 25 mile an hour increase over a 250 show. So a 2,700 pound to 3,000 pound boat, typically with a 250 will do high 70 mile an hour. Bolt one of these bad boys on and all of a sudden you're into the mid 90s. Eaton's a fantastic partner of Harrop. We're down on the Eaton booth and we've got our NISPRO Marine 450S supercharger. It's got great exposure at SEMA. We've got the engine here on display in the racing and performance hall the engine display up at the Harrop booth and also the new product showcase. We were really chuffed to win a global media award last night for best engineered new product. So one of the most common questions is how much power does it make and does my engine achieve what you quote? Yeah look absolutely. On the t dyno test cell the calibration's all been done on 89 octane fuel. Uh, on 89 octane fuel it makes 467 horsepower at the flywheel, 450 horsepower at the propeller shaft. Uh, our preferred gasoline is 91, but it certainly tolerates 89 without any drama at all. That's what the main calibration's been done on. Excellent, and obviously the calibration development's been extensive. Um, as much work as getting the physical hardware packaged nicely, so that's got the capabilities within the ECU to compensate for those different grades? Yeah, it has. Look, we started the calibration side of this project back in 2011 when there was absolutely no information available for the calibration whatsoever. Over that period of time, we've now had full access to the ECU calibration. Um, so fuel, spark, camshaft profile timing, all of those aspects are, are now fully accessible by us. Um, the system actually comes with a plug-in unit that actually will download the file to it for the end user. So very, very simple. And so then it's a turnkey operation. So in addition to the innovative marine supercharger on the Yamaha V6s, Harrop's got a really diverse range of superchargers at SEMA this year, it's ranging from the really small 900 on the Mini Cooper S through to the 1320 TVS unit on the FRS BRZ, moving up to the 1740 on the S65 BMW M3. We've got a 1900 TVS here on the marine project, 2300 TVS on the Y62 Armada, right up to the 2650 on the LS3, LS7 engine combination. So something for everyone to be boosted here at SEMA 2017.